SM Entertainment keeps proving time and time again that they care a lot more about money than they do about their artist's health, and fans are finally fed up. On August 15th, fans were hit with the news that NCT's tail was involved in a motorcycle accident and that he would halt his activities for the time being, at least until he fully recovered. According to a statement issued by SM, he was returning from a schedule on his motorcycle when he got into an accident. There was no details on what exactly caused the accident, but SM said that they wasted no time sending Tail to the hospital for a thorough examination and treatment. The examination revealed that he had a fracture on his right thigh, with SM reporting that a surgery was needed to treat the injury. However, they told fans that Tail would suspend his activities until he got better, which meant that he wouldn't be taking part in the NCT concert on August 26th. At the end of their statement, they apologized for the concern they caused with the update and promised to always prioritize their artist's health. But as it turns out, that wasn't the case at all, as SM kind of exposed themselves a few days ago. Back in August, fans were obviously concerned, but they also raised a lot of questions regarding the nature of the accident and Tail's injury. But instead of the company being more thorough with their statement, it was Chen La who ultimately eased up the worries of the fans. He did a live stream on Weibo the very next day, clarifying that he was one of the first people to know of Tail's accident since he had been on the same schedule. According to Chen La, they finished their work together and parted ways, with Chen La heading to the salon to dye his hair while Tail was sent to go home. Chen La then got told about the accident from Mark, which made him ask the manager about Tail's well-being. The manager told him that Tail was safe and had regained consciousness, but that he got injured. Chen La clarified that the accident wasn't caused by Tail, but that another person ran the red light and crashed into Tail's motorcycle. As Chen La's revelations about the situation spread online, SM issued a follow-up statement saying that Tail's accident was still being looked into by the police and that it was too early to draw any conclusions. No matter what the situation was, it was kind of messed up that people had to find this out from a member of the group and not the company itself, especially since there were so many rumors and accusations that Tail was the one responsible for the accident and had even hurt someone. A few days following the accident, Tail also posted on social media to give fans an update on his health, apologizing for causing them concern, and assured them that his surgery was successful. While expressing regret for missing NCT Nation performances, he remained hopeful about his recovery. Despite Tail's reassurance, there were even more red flags raised about the accident. First, based on SM's statement, you'd think that Tail only sprained his ankle or something, but the fact that he had lost consciousness and required surgery for his injury raised major concerns among fans and netizens. Secondly, SM described the accident as minor, but as some commenters pointed out, there's rarely minor accidents when it comes to motorcycles, especially if you lose consciousness in the process. An all K-pop user said, a minor accident would be something like dropping the bike at slow speed having gone down a pothill in the road. But getting hit by another vehicle isn't considered a minor accident by anyone's standards. Others made a point by saying that if the accident were really minor, there would be a few bruises and scratches and Tail wouldn't have to undergo surgery. But again, that was not the case. The whole thing becomes so much worse though. Because of SM's own words, fans weren't expecting Tail to be a part of NCT's fifth album, Fact Check. The company has been sharing teasers and promotional stuff with the members for a few weeks now, and imagine everyone's surprise when fans saw Tail in the teaser pictures. On October 3rd, SM released the first set of teasers for the Fact Check music video, showing individuals pictures of each member. Fans were happy to see Tail in some of them at first, but their excitement didn't last long, as in one of the concept photos, there was a picture that showed Tail's severe knee injury. Not wanting to jump to the worst conclusion, some people thought that it might be a part of the photo shoot theme, especially since Hechan also had a bandage on his cheek. However, their assumption was proven wrong when SM quickly noticed their mistake and removed Tail's wound from the picture by cropping the photos and re-uploading them. It was at this point that fans became livid. The fact that the injury in the picture looked fresh, stitches and all, was even worse and meant that SM had probably dragged him a few days after the surgery to shoot these teaser pictures. It didn't help that these teaser pictures were also shot really up close, probably to hide the injury and make everything less suspicious. There's another chance that the injury might have been a planned part of the concept and SM Entertainment removed the photos because they thought people could misunderstand. However, it's strange that they didn't just explain it instead of making fans think that they made their artist work while he was injured. And also, it's pretty unlikely that an injury like that would be a part of the concept. We've been aware for a while now that SM is far from the ideal company, but this is the first time we've seen an idol appear with a fresh injury in a concept picture. It could have been Tail's choice to participate in the promotions, but it's SM's job to insist that he gets better before he does anything, let alone participate in a photo shoot and possibly a music video shooting. Let's also mention that even if Tail wanted 
wanted to be a part of the comeback, we sincerely doubt that he wanted the whole world to see his injury, so not only is SM wrong for letting him be a part of everything, but their carelessness is worrying. What makes the whole thing so much worse is that on October 4th, SM went on to post the other teasers without as much as acknowledging the issue with Tail. Unfortunately, this isn't the only time this happened, nor is it the most recent. Back in September, SM announced that Irene of Red Velvet would not be appearing at the SM Town Live 2023 SMCU Palace Jakarta because of her health issues. Irene performed with the group despite the announcement, and Joy explained that it was on her own will as she had missed the fans too much. We find it hard to believe knowing SM's history, but okay, let's say that this was all Irene's decision. The attendees at the concert and the people watching from their homes could see that she appeared extremely fatigued and could barely move, causing understandable worries among everyone who was watching. As seen in one of the pictures that was uploaded, it seemed like she even had an IV drip in her hand before going on stage. Again, the question arises as to why SM allowed her to perform in her condition. Even if it's true that Irene insisted on performing with the group, why would the company allow this knowing that she was feeling bad and that moving around would make her feel worse? Knowingly or not, fans may in some way encourage this behavior. Instead of netizens worrying and criticizing SM for making someone who's sick perform, they praised Irene for her so-called professionalism. Calling this behavior professional suggests that idols putting work ahead of their health is not only okay, but praiseworthy. It only puts pressure on idols to get on stage and perform despite the fact that they're not feeling okay, which only helps these companies exploit them. So no, there's nothing professional about an idol putting themselves at risk just because the company wants to profit. Former EXO member Tao also spoke of the time that he was made to get on stage despite his serious injuries. He said that his leg had been fractured, his ligament was sprained, and a piece of his bone was displaced. The pain became so bad that he had to go to the hospital and could barely move. There, he was put in an orthopedic cast, with the doctors advising him to refrain from doing any activities and rest. But the company didn't care about that. Tao said, The company insisted that I keep up with my schedule despite my grave injuries. I could sacrifice a lot for the sake of my group, but even that reached its limit after a certain point. Let's not even mention the other NC team members and the things that they've been through just because SM doesn't think that their health is important enough to affect their schedules. Heung and his back injury have been a topic of discussion for years now, but instead of insisting that he gets it treated, SM is overworking him and making his injury worse. In June, Johnny injured his shoulder and received medical treatment for the damage. Later, it was revealed that it had been a collarbone fracture due to running into a door and would require rest for recovery. However, not only did SM greatly downplay his injury, but he was back to doing intense choreos a few months later. Hyechun was overworked up to the point that he started experiencing heart problems, but SM didn't do anything until the issue got serious. There's been too many instances where artists are made to work through injuries and illnesses, ultimately leading to their declining health. It's time for a new approach that puts artists' health and safety first before anything terrible happens to one of them just because the company feels like they should work despite being indisposed. Make sure to share your thoughts in the comments, and thank you for watching. Bye!